Hey there, what's up? This is Phil Ebner with the Video School Online YouTube channel. Today we've got another great video continuing our series of videos about how to make better videos. So last week and the weeks before we talked about um, better choosing better topics, better video pre-production, better shooting, better getting better, better audio, um, all great things. And today we're talking about better video editing. Uh, and if you want to check out the blog, uh, do so, www.videoschoolonline.com. You'll get more in-depth details and uh, tips for this, uh, this topic. This is just going to be a quick rundown of what that blog was all about. So let's get straight to it. First tip, be organized. Organization is the key for being a good editor. Um, I can't tell you how many hours and hours and hours I've tried to sift through uh, footage that hasn't been organized, trying to, you know, figure out where a clip, a certain clip is, or trying to reconnect footage in projects that got, you know, deleted or messed up. Uh, so stay organized. My rule of thumb is that you should always uh, have whatever your documents on your computer, whatever folders you have, mirror that within your editing program. So if you have a folder of you know, a video folder with, and within that you have exterior shots, interior shots, or scene one, scene two, scene three, or however you organize that, mirror that within your, your editing pr program. So if you're using Final Cut Pro, have folders for video and within that, you know, scene one, scene two, scene three. And so if you lose a clip or you want to add more clips, you'll know exactly where to go in your computer documents. So that is the first tip, stay organized. It will save you a lot of time and headaches. Second, quick tips. These are going to be actually a bunch of quick tips uh, that I'm just going to kind of read off to you fast, um, give you a short explanation, and I hope they help. So first, transitions with a purpose. Uh, you know, it's always cool to try out that new 3D spin of transition effect, but it might look a little cheesy. Uh, no offense for all you guys using those. Uh, stick to simple fades. Uh, if you do have other, you know, uh, you know, it depends on what the video is about, what the style is, you know, sometimes wipes or, uh, you know, movement will fit right in, uh, or just straight cuts work best. So use transitions with a purpose. Uh, just don't use whatever the cool, latest, coolest uh, transition is. Be invisible. This is a tip that I learned in film school. Uh, an editor's job is to be invisible. If people are noticing that, that something's up with the editing, uh, then you haven't done your job because you want someone to watch the video or, not, or your movie and not even think about, oh, that was like a weird cut or, you know, the way that, you know, that scene was, it was too fast or too slow. You don't want people thinking about that. You want them just to enjoy the movie. So being invisible is a good thing. Audio fades, tip number three, quick tip number three, uh, use audio fades when you're, um, introducing sound or or voice or if you're especially if you're doing interviews and you're cutting uh, together interview clips uh, the straight cut of audio is a lot of times jarring or it can create pops and weird noises that you don't want titles another thing not to go overboard with uh, using titles is a great option to in, uh, improve the quality of your video and the professionalism of your video but make sure you use them with a purpose and, um, you know, stick to a certain style. Don't go too crazy. Don't add too much motion unless that's, you know, what your video is about. Try to be clean and classy with it. Um, that usually is a lot better. Lower third titles, another thing to do when you're, uh, you have an interviewee or you, you know, you're in front of the camera or something uh, it's a good idea to add lower thirds. It just makes it a little bit more professional and it explains who your interviewee, interviewee is on camera to your audience. Pick the right music. Another quick tip. Uh, don't choose that latest uh, Justin Bieber song or whatever you like to listen to because you know it sounds good and it gives you a good feeling when you're watching the video. Um, typically, uh, music with lyrics isn't good either, especially if you have... Uh, dialogue within your video because the dialogue and the lyrics from the songs will compete for each other 
and uh, so that's not good. And then just make sure you level your music right. Don't make it too loud so that it's competing with the audio of your video, and that will uh, that will get you a good audio track. Uh, three, why are you or not three? Li another tip for quick tips. Uh, why are you using that shot? This is the question you should be asking every time you lay down a new clip onto your timeline. Why are you using this shot? Are they talking about this? Is this something that's relevant to what's going on in the movie? Um, if you can't, if you don't have a reason why you're using a particular shot and why that shot is coming after the shot before it and before the shot after it, then you should probably rework that se sequence. So make sure you're using shots for a purpose. And last quick tip is just to be patient. Editing is a long, tiresome job. Um, it takes many, many hours of practice, trial and error, and then waiting for export. You're going to spend so many hours exporting and trying to get the right uh, settings and stuff like that. And check out our other uh, YouTube videos because I got some tips on the best, qual the best export settings for um, YouTube and for online. But just be patient. It'll, it's a tough job and it's many, many hours. So those are all the quick tips. And then the last uh, major tip for better video editing is just to get some critiques. Ask your friends, ask your family, ask your girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever to watch your videos. It's the only way you're going to be get better at video editing. And it's something that I had to, I struggled with because I like doing things my own way and I think I'm right all the time. Um, and so I can be stubborn that way. But whenever I show my videos to other people and get their notes, they always end up being better. So get critiques. Um, just put it out online even. Ask people to watch it and to review it. It's a great, great thing to help make your videos better. So those are the three uh, major tips, organization, all those quick tips I gave you, and then getting critiques. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave some comments down below. Ask me questions if you have anything, or just say what's up, and I'd love to hear from you. So check out the website, www.videoschoolonline.com, and uh, subscribe. You'll get 50% off all my online courses right now. And yeah, great. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.